Hi, and welcome back to the Positive Prepper. I hope that you guys are all staying warm. I know where I am. It is freezing cold right now. <laughs> I want to talk today about uh, winter prepping your car. And this goes beyond the normal things that you would keep in your car in case of emergencies, right? Your jumper cables, your extra windshield wiper fluid, that type of stuff. This is winter prepping your car in an, so if an SHTF happens, uh, and I, for this video's purposes, I'm going to say, uh, it, let's say that an EMP occurred. That's an electromagnetic pulse, and that would automatically stop your car. <clears throat> and you wouldn't be able to finish driving home or wherever you were headed. So outside of the normal winterizing your car, there's a few things that you should get into the habit of keeping in your car. Uh, the first thing is a get home bag. Now this is going to be very similar to your bug out bag. Uh, you can watch the video uh, that I've posted from before about bug out bags and what you should have in them. Your get home bag should have relatively a lot of the same stuff, although you're not going to need quite as much, right? Because your get home bag is just to get you from where you are to where you need to be. Uh, so you want to make sure that your get home bag has your snacks, your food, water, flashlights, fire starters, hand warmers, uh, a medical kit, you know, first aid kit, things like that. Those should be in your get home bag and that should always be in your car so that you have it. Uh, some other things, wool socks, as well as proper uh, boots or shoes. Now that it's winter time up here where I am, we get snow and sometimes quite a bit of it. So having extra boots in your car would be a really good idea. And in my last video, I talked about wool socks and how they could be really an important uh, bartering item. And... So having some extra wool socks and uh, proper boots or shoes in your vehicle, extra ones, would be a good idea. Uh, another thing is having an extra jacket uh, and extra blankets uh, just in case. And make sure that there's enough for whoever's in the vehicle with you and for all members of your family, quite frankly, because if you're all in there, we never know when this stuff's going to happen. So make sure that there's extra jackets and blankets as well. And of course, that includes your extra hats and mittens in case the first set gets wet, you know. The next thing is making sure that you have either a roll of toilet paper or some wipes. That's going to be important, especially if you are going to have to travel on foot for, a, for quite a distance. Uh, you're going to need that. The next thing is, of course, cash. If there's an EMP or if the electricity is out, there may be a gas station. If you're going to pass a gas station, that may still allow you to get things there, but they're going to require cash. You're not going to be able to use your card. The next thing is making sure that you have your boomstick and freedom seeds. Uh, if you are always carrying, that's a good thing. You might want to then make sure that you have extra ammo for whatever weapon you carry. And then you, you might want to consider, instead of putting these things in a tote, having a rolling uh, luggage, for example, uh, you're probably going to be okay to travel the roads for the first or and second day. So having something, if you don't have a backpack, uh, you know, if you're going to end up just throwing all of these things in a, in a garbage bag and carrying it on your back, you might want to consider putting these things in some kind of a rolling luggage. 
that you can pull behind you that'll roll on the roads uh, fairly easily. Uh, you're going to be okay, as I said, to travel in the daytime on the roads for the first or second day because most people are going to be just as confused. Uh, after that, after the second day, you might want to think about traveling uh, at night and then also uh, on back roads where possible, keeping in mind that those back roads might not be as well kept and uh, so it might be more difficult to traverse. That's why having that proper footwear and the extra jackets and extra dry uh, hats and, and gloves and scarves is going to be very important. So those are just some things to keep in mind as far as winter prepping your car uh, in the case of an SHTF. Um, the other thing I want to say about this part of it too is that if that happens, so let's say an EMP happens, you're, you know, you're driving, you're on your way home from work, your car suddenly goes out, stops running check your cell phone. If your cell phone also doesn't work, it was probably an EMP. If both of those things went out at the same time. Okay, because that's just what, what they do. So at first, everybody is probably going to be just as confused as you are about what's going on. Uh, as a prepper, you hopefully know some of the signs to look for and what it might mean as far as what's happening. Uh, hopefully you have your uh, AM FM radio battery operated in your in your get home bag so that you can listen to find out more about what's going on. But that being said, even though right at that time, you know, everybody's probably going to be in the same boat for a little while you still can't trust anyone. Um, so if you run into somebody, you need to keep that conversation very short. Okay? Uh, don't tell them where you're headed. <coughs> don't offer to go with them. You really cannot trust anybody, at, even at this early stage, because you don't know. Right? You know who's in your mag group. You know who's going to be coming to your location, either where you're, you're bunkering in or you're bugging out to. You know those people. But there might be some innocent looking folks on the road that are like, oh man, you know, can I walk? No, sorry. Uh, I'm, you know, make up some kind of an excuse why, but keep it short. And you can help them, you know, if you have an extra bottle of water, maybe handle, hand them a bottle of water and say, here, you know, good luck. I uh, hope, hope you stay safe and then keep walking. Uh, and then also keep your items hidden. So don't dig through your, uh, your get home bag trying to get that bottle of water and you're taking out your your sidearm and you're taking out your wool socks and your, t you know, your food. Uh, don't do that. Know where your water is or whatever it is so that you're not having to show them everything that's in your get home bag. So these are, this is just a super quick video about some things that you can do to winter prepare your car. Uh, none of us have, uh, what's that called? We we just don't know when these things are going to happen or when they could happen. But that's all a part of preparing, right? That's a part of prepping, is being prepared for anything, anywhere, anytime. So I hope this video helps you. Um, the next video that I'm going to do is going to be about some more of the avenues that we're going down. I have done a video before on social credit scoring. I think it was called the haves and the have nots. So if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. Uh, I'm going to do another video soon on 
uh, some more ways that we are heading in that direction. So uh, take care, keep prepping. God bless.